Near identical copies of the Starship Launch Tower and Raptor 3 engine have already appeared. Now, an apparent one-to-one -one Starship replica has been officially unveiled. So why is China so openly mirroring SpaceX? And will this strategy lead to real success or expose deeper limitations? Find out more on today's episode of Great SpaceX. According to a report from the Chinese news outlet China.com, the Starship lookalike we just examined was developed by a startup company known as Beijing Leading Rocket Technology. The vehicle was originally named Xingzhou-1. More recently, however, the company appears to have rebranded it as Starship One, a move that openly signals its intention to closely mirror SpaceX's flagship rocket. The rocket follows a two-stage configuration with the first stage clearly modeled after SpaceX's Super Heavy booster. Because the available image is presented in a horizontal orientation, it's not possible to accurately count the number of engines mounted at the base. The upper stage continues this pattern, closely resembling Starship itself, featuring a smooth, bullet-like shape along with with both forward and aft aerodynamic flaps. There are, however, several notable differences when compared directly to SpaceX's Starship. Most significantly, there is no visible interstage ring between the two stages, and there's no indication that hot staging is being used. In addition, the upper stage does not appear to be equipped with a heat shield, which raises important questions about its re-entry and reuse strategy. To better understand how this vehicle is intended to operate, we can examine the diagram released by the company. In this illustration, Beijing leading rocket technology directly uses an image of SpaceX's Starship sitting on its launch tower to represent the full-stack configuration of Xingzhou-1. According to the diagram, the rocket launches as a complete system before stage separation occurs. After separation, the booster performs a flip maneuver and returns for a landing on a drone ship. Meanwhile, the upper stage continues its ascent and proceeds with payload deployment. The upper stage features a dark, door-like section that replaces a traditional separating payload fairing. It opens to deploy the payload, then closes, allowing the stage to re-enter the atmosphere and land on a drone ship for recovery. The company has also introduced what it describes as a new technological approach, referred to as an intelligent grid recovery system, combined with a fully reusable AI-powered rocket. According to Beige Beijing Leading Rocket Technology, which I will refer to from now on as BLIRT, this concept is intended to help the company remain competitive as launch rates increase and market prices continue to decline. The company says its intelligent grid recovery system addresses the drawbacks of traditional landing legs and vertical recovery which require complex mechanisms, higher costs, greater landing risk, and strict site constraints. The new approach is intended to simplify vehicle design, reduce mass and manufacturing costs, and enable safer, more flexible recoveries. At the same time, the company is developing AI-driven systems such as digital twins, intelligent controls, reusable health monitoring, and rapid testing and maintenance frameworks. The goal is to shorten flight-to-reflight cycles, increase reuse rates, and improve reliability ability, working alongside intelligent recovery systems to further reduce launch costs. With this combination of SpaceX-inspired design and newly proposed technologies, Xingzhou-1, or Starship-1, is expected to support a wide range of launch missions. The company says the rocket will support large, medium, and small satellite missions, with two primary configurations planned to provide that flexibility. The basic version is intended for medium and small satellite launches. It's projected to deliver up to three and a half tons to a sun-synchronous orbit at an altitude of 500 kilometers. The company claims this version will replace costly solid-fueled launch vehicles with a target price of less than 7,000 yuan, or under 1,000 US dollars per kilogram. The more advanced configuration, known as CBC Heavy, is designed for deploying satellite constellations. It's expected to place up to 7.1 tons into sun-synchronous orbit at an altitude of 700 kilometers. As for the timeline, BLIRT plans to conduct its first launch in 20. 27, followed by a gradual rollout of commercial launch services. So what do you think of this highly derivative rocket design? Do you believe this copycat approach can succeed or will it fall short of its ambitions? Let me know what
with a yes or a no in the comments section down below, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel to continue following SpaceX's ongoing development journey. From my perspective, the outcome remains deeply uncertain, largely because there are several serious technical and operational issues that cannot be ignored. To begin with, the operational diagram released by Blurt shows that the company intends to recover its rocket by landing it on a drone ship. However, it doesn't appear to be equipped with traditional landing legs. So how will the rocket remain stable once it touches down on a moving platform at sea? Would the company rely on an external support structure, a temporary platform, or even a crane system to secure the vehicle after landing? Even SpaceX itself has not yet demonstrated routine success with this approach, despite years of testing and iteration. The second major concern involves thermal protection. The vehicle, as presented, does not appear to include a heat shield, which is a critical emission for any rocket that is intended to survive atmospheric reentry. Need I explain why? The third issue relates to staging. The rocket does not appear to use a hot staging ring between the booster and the upper stage. This could create serious challenges during stage separation and engine ignition. Similar problems were observed during SpaceX's first integrated Starship flight when interactions between exhaust gases, structural components, and engine hardware caused damage. Beyond what's visible in public materials, there may also be internal challenges involving propulsion reliability, structural margins, guidance systems, and manufacturing quality. Despite these obstacles, China has not abandoned its ambition to replicate SpaceX's approach, and in many cases, it's doing so openly rather than discreetly. One particularly direct example emerged earlier this year from a company known as Yuxi Space Aerospace Technology, or Beijing Yuxi Space. This startup was founded in 2024 and entered the commercial launch market with an unusually bold strategy. From the outset, BYS made it clear that it was directly targeting Starship. According to disclosed information, the company plans to develop a stainless steel rocket powered by Methalox propellant. The vehicle is called AS-1. For recovery, it's designed to use a robotic arm capture system, which we all know by chopsticks. These choices are immediately recognizable as they represent some of the most distinctive and unconventional features of SpaceX's Starship program. And unlike other firms that quietly adopt similar designs, BYS has opened openly stated that it is fully aligning its technical approach with SpaceX. This level of transparency leaves little doubt about the source of its inspiration. So how is BYS attempting to turn this ambition into reality? In a mid-year update, the company reportedly raised approximately 13.9 million US dollars to fund development of the new rocket. Leaked images show early hardware that appears relatively basic. One image reveals a stainless steel propellant tank with the company tank with the company's name printed across the top. Another shows stainless steel rings being manufactured along with launch infrastructure that closely resembles SpaceX's Starship launch platforms. In terms of scale, the AS-1 rocket is noticeably is notably smaller than Starship. It's expected to have a diameter of 4.2 meters, which is less than half that of Starship. Its height, however, is projected to be around 70 meters, which places it closer to Falcon 9 in overall size. The rocket is expected to generate a total thrust of 570 tons at liftoff. For propulsion, AS-1 will reportedly use Long Yun engines, each producing about 80 tons of thrust. This implies a booster configuration with seven engines. This implies a booster configuration with seven engines. The Long Yun engine is manufactured by Jiuzhou Cloud Aero, a company that has already drawn attention for producing a close copy of SpaceX's Raptor 3 engine, known as the FY100. With these dimensions and capabilities, BOIS claims that AS-1 will be able to deliver up to to 15 tons to orbit, with a recovery payload capacity of around 10 tons. In terms of pricing, the company is targeting a launch cost of roughly 2,800 US dollars. If the rocket is successfully recovered and reused, that cost could drop to approximately 1,400 US dollars per kilo. Looking ahead, BYS has outlined three primary development priorities. These include testing the two-stage rocket assembly, conducting static fire tests, and validating the robotic arm capture system. According to the company, these steps are intended to confirm the feasibility of the technology and guide future design iterations. BYS is not alone in this trend. Jiuzhou Cloud Aero's FY100 engine represents one of the most complete copies of the Raptor 3 to date. Earlier, Cosmoly became the first company 
company to replicate SpaceX's Starship-style launch system with its Leap rocket, which blends elements of both Starship and Falcon 9. Land Space followed a similar path, evolving from solid fuel rockets to the Methalox-powered Zhu Chui 2, and eventually to the reusable Zhu Chui 3, which also reflects a hybrid of SpaceX design philosophies. Whether quietly or openly, cautiously or aggressively, Chinese aerospace companies continue to model their ambitions on SpaceX. At this point, they're not even hiding it anymore. With the Falcon family, SpaceX continues to set new records in launch cadence, landing reliability, and rapid reuse. Falcon rockets have demonstrated their leadership through a steadily growing list of achievements over many years, and that dominance is not showing signs of slowing down. If there is any rocket capable of surpassing the Falcon series, it can only be Starship. After more than two years of intensive testing across multiple vehicle configurations, Starship has already achieved several remarkable milestones. These include successfully catching super heavy boosters using the Megazilla arms and demonstrating controlled landings of both stages in the ocean. Building on this foundation, SpaceX is now targeting the Starship V3 configuration as early as next year. The goals for this phase include reaching orbit Orbit, deploying payloads, and recovering both stages using the Chopsticks capture system. Beyond that, SpaceX plans to develop a full in-orbit refueling architecture, which is a critical step towards sustained operations beyond Earth orbit. As development continues, Starship itself is undergoing constant evolution. Its already enormous scale is expected to increase further, with a potential V4 reaching closer, close to 150 meters in height. At the same time, propulsion capability will expand significantly. The introduction of the Raptor 4 engine could give Starship a total thrust exceeding 10,000 tons at liftoff. Even a technically competent copy would struggle to compete with the pace, scale, and integrated vision of SpaceX's program. For this reason, the challenge facing SpaceX is no longer limited to traditional competitors. Instead, it's now confronted by an unusual phenomenon, which is the emergence of direct replicas of its own rockets. These copycat programs still face numerous technical, operational, and organized organizational hurdles before they can seriously enter the global launch market. Ultimately, the true outcome will only become clear with time. The coming years will provide the definitive answer. Until then, we can only watch and wait. In any case, folks, this has been Kevin with Great SpaceX. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date with yours truly on the latest milestones in SpaceX's journey. Thank you so much for watching, and always remember, curiosity, imagination, and inspiration will follow you so long as you keep looking up.